Hey guys, welcome to the Hidden Beck Rave! Woo! We're down in the lower city of Taris. We've got to go search the Undercity for Mission, I believe her name was. Uh, it was the little girl with the Wookiee, if you remember back sort of two episodes ago or so. Um, we're doing that so we can um, get our way into the Black Volkers gang, who are keeping a Jedi prisoner. And once we've got her back, we can get on some sort of ship to get off this place and get away from the Sith. And I'm still not sure if I want to join the Sith or not. So, walking away from the rave. I want to find out what's behind this security door. It's locked. Okay. Right, so. We've got to go. Oh, love that beat. I love that beat. Right. <laughs> wow. For one of the well-known gangs, not that many members. Um, I believe we found out that that's because last... Uh, we found out last episode that's because all the younger guys went off to join the Black Volkers or whatever their names are. Ah, right, away we go. Um, ooh, oh look, we got a view outside. Oh, we got some enforcers there. Um, I want you to go improve critical strike, and then we tab across to this guy and go Ready? right. Let's go. And from somewhere like here, I'm going to start shooting like you. Hopefully we can drop him fairly quickly. Do you think? Do you think this will happen? Or I don't know. Let's do do a round. Oh, I, I'm actually quite bad. Kill him then. Kill him. Kill him. Right. Now we'll swap round to this guy. And we'll go. You do this. Look, there's there's one of those guys just back there. One of the the hidden becks just back there, and he's not helping out at all. Right. Cast. Do some. No, no, Carf, throw some grenades. You got a grenade? Uh, concussion grenade, Black Volker. Ah, oh, let, let's... There we go. So I was having a few control issues there. Let's throw a grenade at him. Um, and then, oh, well, let me... Oh, well, let's do that first. Let's see how this plays out. Throw a grenade! Boom! Right, pause it. Power shot, power shot, power shot. And then improve, improve, improve. Yeah, make noise. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Hey, let's help this guy out. I don't see Davik doing anything for his share. We do all the work, Davik claims his part of the exchange. So let him prove it! You're gonna die, mate, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, let's see the big crime lord come and get his money from the Black Volkars! They all seem to be the same species. I don't, I don't know if there's anything behind that. So you want to play this the hard way? Okay. That's not a sharp whistle. That was a lame whistle. Oh wow, look at the size of that guy's gun. Hey, Kandoras, we didn't know you're working for Davik now. Yeah, we're just goofing around here. We don't want no trouble with a Mandalorian. Here's Davik's cut. A Mandalorian, you say? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, I don't want to click us. I'll miss the next one because I'm terrible. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. You're a Mandalorian, are you? I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Sweet. Can, can I can I talk to him? Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes <laughs> them important. I know, Gavin right? keeps his hidden becks in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I might be able to help here. Who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Mmm, special assignment. Alright, let's go check um, all these bodies quickly, see if there's any, any remains. Is that, those remains? No, those remains. God, I can't believe these guys tried to fight me without anything on... <gasps> I'm nearly dead! Med pack! <laughs> Uh, you may remember my little rant a couple of episodes ago about how I'm quite yes. bad at just letting myself die. 
it's not changed. Um, what are these bits here on the map? Oh, there's a little bit. Let's, let's turn around the corner to the first one. Ah, ah, so it's the canteen, the cantina on the other side? Yeah, okay, sorry about that, just had to go and check that. So, blue, blue squares on the map of doors. Try to remember that so I don't have to keep like running back to check out this thing that's new, that's not actually new. Uh, where, where's this lower city apartment? Do I want to go back to apartments? Apartments are quite boring, but I do get information from them. Um, yeah, if you want my advice, I'd skip forward a little bit. Oh, no, look. Oh, you! You, you caused some real trouble in the last place. You seem to be taking a great interest in our progress. Do you need something, little man? You're gonna die as well. <laughs> Quiet, Lucro. That's Carlo North, the infamous bounty hunter and northerner. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Ooh. The only way to collect the bounty is over our old, cold, dead body. You are so dead, mate. You, you don't know what you're talking about. That's the plan. Wow, those guys are really slow. They watched him pull his pull his weapons, point at his mate, and point at the other guy. <laughs> yeah, just you know, strong, silent type me. Just watch this happen. Wonder, watch him wander past. Um, <laughs> All right, uh, which way around do you reckon we're supposed to go? Oh, right, let's do this one for <gasps> danger. Who's that? I don't really want to fight all these black Volkers straight away. Um, poison grenade sounds like a good start. Let's go with that. Ah, oh, that—that's how you start battle. Go, 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 go. Um, ready. Yeah, that—that that, that was nice and easy. Any stuff? Any loot? Got any tasty stuffs? Nom 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 nom. Credits. Credits. Uh, we should probably do a bit of uh, inventory balancing soon. Oh look, more Black Volkers. Um, sonic Grenade. Let, let, let's just run in there and fight that. Karth, what are you doing? Oh, you're uh... Uh huh. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. You're a bit uh huh. You so. are for this! Oh. Ha, I got <laughs> I hit him, man. Come on, come on, come on, do it. Do it. Who, who, who are you fighting? Oh wow, more, more people. Um, right, let's run car forward, shall we? Tell about there. Shoot me in the side of the face. What's Twitchy up to? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Have it then. Have it. Why do my hands keep glowing? Is that is that me doing a special? Did I do a special? I don't know if I did a special or not. Uh, yeah, we'll ignore that. Oh, repair kit, nice. Remains. Credits. Volker shot stick. Energy suit. Combat suit. Mmm, nice. And uh, that's not a thing. Right. Oh, supplies! Oh. Battle. You know, leaves me a bit speechless every now and then. Right, I'm going to um, med pack. Uh -huh. And then med pack calf. And then calf is going to somehow. Can we disengage the mini frag grenade thing? How do we... Do I need a droid? Is there nothing I can do against it? Can I shoot it? No, I can't do anything. Alright. Yes? Well, I'll find out some way of dismantling it. I don't really fancy killing myself on that. Wow, am I in like Black Volker Apartments or something? Hey, I leveled! Oh, no, Karth leveled. Oh, is he still in fight? No, he's still in fight. Right, Ready. Karth. 
Uh, let's level you up, boy. Do we do, just auto level him up? I only really care about Twitchy. Yeah. One point. Um, security? Let's put your security up. Oh, it's cross grass. Oh. 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 Okay. Um, recommended? Yeah, cool. <laughs> What what feet do you recommend? Rapid shot sounds good. Let's do it. Where's where's rapid shot? Da, 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 that one. Add feet. Oh wait, it was select. Okay, sweet. And then accept. Not back. Accept. So should we do be doing rapid shot more than um more than power blast? Rapid shot. See how it goes. Yes, it looks like rapid shot is the way forward. Twitchy, get out of the way. Well, I kind of kind of thought that, like right back in the beginning that maybe I wanted Twitchy to be um, a, a blaster slinger as well, because then you know we could be a distance away from each other. Right, I'm just gonna put him here so when battle happens. Hmm, mine sighted. What what do we do with the mines? I can't do anything with the mines. Right, car car twitchy. Uh, let, let's do this. Set it off. Yeah, see? That, that's That's all we need to do there, right? Look at that. Strong box is a particularly sturdy construction. The lock is comp uh, computerized touch panel that uses a password entry system. Because this box is an older off planet model, there is no interface for you to try and slice the system. You have to figure out the password if you want to get inside. Let's uh, leave that alone for a moment. I have a feeling that the password may be located in this desk. There is an electronic personal message center. It looks like that it has been used in some time. There is one unread message. Sorry, just having a bit of tea there. Um, let's read the message. Hey, Alam, how's life on Taris? Well, to be honest, mate, it's been a bit boring. You know? <laughs> uh, I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Uh, did he leave the hy uh, hyperdrive behind to keep you company? Um, I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember what I taught you, because you might need it. Taris isn't like Aldron. It can be a dangerous place. Stay away from those swoop gangs and keep everything locked up in that old strong box. No one's going to be busting into that thing. Hope to hear from you so soon. Uncle Louie. I have a feeling Uncle Louie might be something to do with the password. Right. We've read that. Um, I'm obviously not going to remember any of it because I read it out loud. So that means I don't remember stuff. Um, so we're going to try and enter the password. Uh, this strong box is access property of Elman Matrick. Access not permitted to unauthorized users. Uh, so hyperdrive there, Rancor Louis. Oh, excuse me. Should we try hyperdrive? Oh wait, please enter the. Uh, what is the name of your pet? Oh, I hope it's Rancor. Uh, hyper. Did he leave that hyperdrive behind? Hyperdrive might be. Do it. Who taught you to fire a blaster, Uncle Louis? Where did your family originally come from, Alderaan? Ta da! See, look at that. Look at that. Hey, bad. I good at this stuff. I can remember what I said two minutes ago. <laughs> Which, actually, if, if you knew me in real life, uh, those of you that do know me in real life, uh, that's actually quite a bit of a uh, quite a bit of a, an achievement. Um, right, I know I promised a bit of inventory management at some point around here, but I've got a feeling I'm actually going to go all the way around before I do that because then I've got all the stuff that I've picked up, and then I can just make Twitchy the ultimate badass. State of the badass art. What? Yep. What? Locked. Uh, um, right, I need you to security that bad boy. On it. It's open. Oh, sure. Uh, hello. Oh, Stop you're... right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Well, I say, old girl, that's the spiffy little accent you've got there. Maybe you and me can go hang out somewhere, I guess. Maybe I can buy you a little bit of drinky poos. And you want some drinky poos? <laughs> <laughs> um, I recognize your name. I believe you have a bounty out on your head, yes? 
I'm not here to collect it though, because that sounds like a bit more of a contract killing, but uh, after all this bit of a ramble, who the fuck are you? No, I'm the one with the blaster <laughs> pointed at you. I get to ask the questions. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, as it happens, I was just merely exploring the place, and I thought that maybe, you know, I'll just come in here through this door and see what's going on. But then I said, whoa, what a beautiful looking lady on the other side. So now well, we've got all that, um, I was just exploring. I didn't know anybody was here. Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. Oh, well, I'm faced with a little bit of a conundrum here. I know that Davik would be very, very happy if I brought this girl hogtied into her. But at the same time, she did just threaten me with a blaster and I am a bit of a coward. Um, let's leave her here and try and remember and if Davik really, really wants her as like some sort of proof of my loyalty, then I'll come back and get her. And then maybe we can get off this rock. Oh, again. La la la. Yeah. One, two, bitch. Uh, med packs, computer spikes, credits. Nothing in there. Look, oh, Cass, get out of my way. Oh, look, he does have remains on him. Uh, credits. I wonder how many credits I've got. Oh, look, I left, I left some remains here. Let's, let's get these. So that's all the way around, eh? That's all the way around. Uh, right, inventory. Um, something like clicking on here. Um, right, equipment. Where, where's my armor class? Armor class 17, right? Um, it's the same, it's the same. Uh, I think I'm going for a higher armor class. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, defense bonus 5, defense bonus 4. Upgradable armor. Upgradable armor. They're both the same. I'm going to keep the Achanti fiber armor on because, you know, the Sith won't try and kill me for wearing that. Oh, I could put energy shields on the other side. Okay, let's do that. Not that I ever remember to use my energy shields. Um, right, let's quickly check my, my main sword. Uh, the prototype vibra blade, um, 1 to 10 points of damage, there's a plus 1 and a 19 to 20. Uh, no, no plus 1 there. Okay, well, okay, I've not picked up any new weapons. There we go! Um, oh, let's do Karth quick. What? Don't you what me? Um, equipment. Um, he's got a combat suit, um, but we'll give him this one because that puts his armor class up by 1. And we'll give him some energy shields. Not that I'll ever remember to use them, like I say, I'm rubbish at that. Uh, and, okay, major blaster. What, what, have, what are we using in the blasting? Uh, 2 to 7, 1 to 6, 1 to 4, 1 to 8. Ooh, 1 to 8 or 2 to 7. I'm going to go with the 2 to 7 because th th does that average height? No, average is the same, doesn't it? Mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. What is, what, what's this one? What is this one? Uh, heavy blaster. Yeah. Okay. Well, I came in here sure. for stuff. I found no stuff. I found a con. Uh, well, not a convict. Someone trying to escape from Davik. Um. Yeah, but all in all, more than a little bit disappointed in that. Um. Right kill these Volkers. Just just go running in. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. The uh, blaster noises are a bit loud. I, I might might have to actually turn them down at some point. Oh, can I, can I fit a med pack in at any point? Well, that was, that was quite well done. So we have benign blaster turrets. Oh. Alright, should we wander up and have a look here? Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Well, as it happens, I've got my security papers right here, mate. Let me see. 
down if you want. Can't say I envy you though. I know, right? Is crawling with mutants, rack goals they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Of course, Sith officer friend. I wonder if I could have used those blaster turrets to like kill him. Kill him. Ah, uh, watching blue bars, blue bar. I wonder how long I've been recording for now. I've been so into this, I've kind of lost track. Uh, I'm going to give it another ten order. minutes and then right round it up. If it's a long one, I'm sorry. To pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you got to give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits. That's what it costs. Five credits. Use Ooh. our elevator. Five credits. Wow, uh, five credit. I mean, whoa. I, I'm not sure if I, a whole five credit. Are you serious? A, a whole five credits. First, who are you and what are you doing down here? We are the outcasts, banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. I, I noticed that uh, you, you know you use the word wretched and stuff a lot. You sound like you're suffering. I, I can make it stop. I, c I can bring an end to your suffering if you wish. All you have to do is keep fucking hassling me. <sighs> um. What? 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 what my gal? No, let's let's give him five credits. Five credits. <laughs> credits, my brother. We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. You want medicine? Hush, the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. Hi, my name's TwitchyCast. Who's your sexy ass? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Yes, there's sky from horizon to horizon. Buildings as far as you can see. All the alcohol you can drink and twilight dancing girls. Oh, the dancing girls. <laughs> I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... So wonderful. It is wonderful, my dear. The leader of our village tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil? Who's Rukil? Sounds like he uh, kills rats or something. Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but <laughs> he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I bet I he did. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. Uh, the Promised Land? What is this craziness you speak of? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. Uh, where can I find this Rukil? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. <laughs> he's over 100 years old. I bet you're hard on his bones, at too. Him and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but... He's really just a kind old man. Uh, I've asked about the Promised Land. Uh, the, 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 who's Gendar? Where could I find Gendar? Why, why would I be... Uh, no, I don't know. I'm off. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. I'll come back with stories of cantinas and shit at some point. Right. 
I'm going to do a quick pause and see how long I've been recording for. Okay, five minutes. Five minutes until I make the half hour mark. So, uh, where, where, where should we do? Outcast, healer, uh, Rukil. We, we were supposed to talk to Rukil about stuff. Hey, I hear you like telling stories to young girls. You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Yes, old man, I am your messiah. The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, upworlder. I beg you. Well, I'm here to save me. What this means for you guys... It could, it, it could go either way. Um, what you talking about, old man? Question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused. At he times. looks a good Perhaps for a hundred years. Things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukul Rinklesken, the children call me sometimes. <laughs> I, I don't want to know what you make the children call you. Uh, I'm Twitchycast. What do you want from me, old man? Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. True path? What is this path you speak of? I know of gravel paths. I know of paved path. Paved paths? I'm going to stop myself there before I make myself sound any more stupid. No. No, no, not yet. <laughs> I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No. Not until you prove yourself. Ha! Prove myself? To you? My apprentice is... How do I do that? Lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll help you in this. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. Alright, um... Yeah, uh, it was good talking to you, man. I'll be back. I wish you luck, Upworlder. <laughs> Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Yeah... I think you might have been right, Karth. He is a bit crazy. Um, Gendar, you. Why was I supposed to Greetings, talk to you? Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. So no many? Friends, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. I'm looking for mission. Uh, you said something about other upworlders. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Vale. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, Twi but I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. Uh, okay, so how can I get there? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. Yeah, If you yeah. dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Uh, I want to ask you some questions ask about the rock ghouls. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Um, 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 tell me about the Rakuls. The Rakuls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. 
Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. I want to be one of those. No cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Do you think that's what's happened to uh, M Malaya, whatever her name was? I, I think that's probably what's happened to her. Uh, we'll go find out, though. Um, well, a lot of questions, other questions. Am I, I might not actually have any questions, I just want to... I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Well, you've already said that. Um, who are you people? No, I know that. Uh, you said something about... Uh, yeah, no, okay, well, I'm wish, off. Upworlder, should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village and I will do my best to help you however I can. Well, who the fuck put you in charge? Uh, outcast man... What, what's in here? Can I go in here? No, I can't go in there. Uh, 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 right. I'm gonna probably run around aimlessly for the next couple of minutes. Um, so, our mission so far is to go find a uh, mission, funnily enough. Um, Hurry, get guard. Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Oh, I wonder if I can help this guy. Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! Let me over the they gate! I'll help! kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindor will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the Rackles are so near! Open the gate! I will kill the Rackles! You'd risk your life for a stranger? You're brave, Upworlder. Some call me stupid. For you, but oh, you've got to be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Okay, let's do this. Hello, look, there he is. Stab it. What are you doing, Karth? Karth, shoot him. Just shoot him in the face. Um, Twitchy also quite badly needs a med pack. Let's do that. And then we'll get back to hitting him. Yes. You asked for this. Yeah, boy. Are we done? Are we done? I think we're done. Let's go inside. Whoa. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Okay. You know your life's green, mate. Are you infected? I mean, what's that about? Um, in fact, what is that about? Let's, let's come in here. Let's look. Where, where can I find out? Where, where? That's my journal. Defense is down. I'm just looking for... Oh. Oh, what's that? That's the thing. That thing. Lift. Um... I don't know what that one is either. Messages. No, no, nothing tells me what their status is, ailment is. I've just got a green bar. Um, okay. Let's open the main gate. You alright, Cass? Yes, what's in your mind? Uh, uh, do you know anything about Garrus? this place? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. Okay, that's, that's enough. You got See you it. later. Right, um, hopefully we can find some way down into the sewers. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is going to help me, even the backs won't help me. But I can't just leave him there, he, he's my friend. Uh, hey, You'll help me, won't you? Damn fucking straight. Uh, whoa, slow down, mission, what's wrong? It's Zalbar, he's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, who's gonna sell him into slavery? Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. Yep. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've gotta figure you can handle the odd rat ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver. I just know it. All right, let's deal with this then. Um, 
do you know who the, who they are who took him? I don't him? know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. So, uh, remind me again why you're calling Big Z? No, no, no. Um, yeah, if, if I get him back, will you help me inside the it's Volker base? As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on, we have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse. Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volko compound. Ta-da! Alright. And I think that... Oh, yeah, cool. Um, okay. And I think that makes an awesome wrapping up point. Um, let's just turn around and look at the screen if I can. Yeah, there we go. Right. Well, uh, thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. It's been a, a, a long one. Oh, we need to m level mission up. I'll do that off camera, and then I'll be back. Uh, yeah, thanks very much for joining me for this adventure, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Au revoir!